Hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Nora, I take you through how I generate my before and after pictures using Treatment Pad, an application that is available on the iOS store. As a cosmetic injector and trainer, it is vital for me to be able to take accurate before and after pictures. Not only is it important for me as a medical doctor, but it's also important for my patients as well, because when a patient is presented with a good before and after picture, they're able to quickly see what the differences are in the treatment that you've just performed. And this will then help to increase your patient satisfaction. But not only is it important for the patient to be satisfied, it's also important for you as a cosmetic practitioner. We are bound by guidelines that are very strict in relation to how our pictures should be portrayed to our patients and also to the general public as well. Our photographs must be accurate in terms of their background, lighting and camera angle as well. And each of the before and after pictures should be very similar before they are portrayed to the public. In my clinical practice, I've been using Treatment Pad now for over two years and I can assure you that it does help take a lot of the weight off my shoulders when I'm producing my before and after pictures. In this tutorial today, I'll be taking through all of the features that Treatment Pad has to offer and how it's helped me in my clinical practice to help reduce that nervous wait for the patient whilst they're waiting for you to edit your photographs and present it to them. Treatment Pad is an application that is available to download for free on the iOS store. It does have some features that require an upgraded subscription. It has to date been presented at multiple industry-led conferences throughout Australia on a national and also an international level as well. I'm very proud to be the clinical lead for Treatment Pad and I do hope you'll find this video useful and the application will be of use in your clinical practice as well. When you load the application, click on the split screen layout. From here, you'll be presented with all of your most recent pictures. By clicking on the bottom left of the screen, you can choose which album you want to view. If you have a new patient, you can create an album for them by pressing new album and typing their name. From here, you'll then be able to take pictures for them, which will automatically be saved in their designated album. Alternatively, if you have an existing patient, you can search for their name on the top bar. Once selected, you will view all of their photos on both the right and left screen. Select the pictures you want to compare. When you're ready, tap on the face icon to the bottom left of the picture view. This will trigger the artificial intelligence feature of the application to automatically identify and detect facial markers such as the eyes, nose and mouth and align and crop the photos side by side. You'll note that the box around the face disappears shortly. You can now lock your images together by pressing on the chain icon to the bottom right. This allows you to move the photographs together. You may also wish to press the grid button which helps to illustrate certain areas of the picture. When you tap on the upload icon to the top right of the screen, you are given an option called template editor. By selecting this, you can edit your branding. In this view, you can use the icons along the bottom left to add blurs and frames to the image. You're also able to add text with different fonts and colors. Once you're happy with your template, press on the save button. This is now your save template, which will be activated when you press on the stamp icon to the bottom right. You are now able to generate your other before and after pictures and add on your template. If you do not wish to add your pre-saved template, you can edit the photograph alone. To do this, press on the upload icon to the top right and select edit image. From here, you have the same features as before. You may add a frame, text with various fonts, a blur for patient anonymity, and resize and move boxes. You can then press save and the photo will be saved in your patient's dedicated album and in your photos app. Going back to the main screen, you also have the ability to save your images individually as they are, cropped in and zoomed. This will again save the individual images to the patient's album and your photos app. You can also create a video animation by selecting this. Once this is saved in the Photos app, a short video of the before and after photos is shown alone, followed by a layout image. You can also categorize your photos by the orientation by pressing on the icon to the right of the face. You have the ability to show the detection overlay so you can see the facial markers. If you malalign your photos and want to go back to the edited photograph, just tap on the face icon to the bottom left and your photo will be realigned. You can hide the detection overlay by deselecting this. You can also sort your photographs by modification date with the newest appearing first. You may choose to see the portrait facing only photographs, which can make identification of pictures easier. The app will automatically shade out any photos that do not fit this criteria. You can also do this for facing left and right photographs. You can go back to selecting all photos at any time. An upgradable feature of the application is to take photographs in real time with the use of the integrated angle calculator. This will help you to maintain your angles. To access this, press on the central camera icon. You'll be presented with the previous photographs on the left, your before picture, and a real-time camera on the right for your after picture. Note the Y and Z axis to the bottom right of the screen. This dictates your orientation. As you move the camera around, your angle will change. Try to keep this similar to your before picture for greatest accuracy. When you're ready to take the photo, press on the circular icon. The photos will be stored in the patient's album. Once you've finished with this mode, simply press close and you'll be brought back to the split screen layout ready for editing. You can also learn more about Treatment Pad over on treatmentpad.com. So that was a run through of all of the features that Treatment Pad has to offer. I do hope you find this application useful in your own cosmetic clinics. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below.
But for now, take care and stay healthy.